the world are, have been devastated, destroyed by up to 97 decades. Others say that actually the stocks are quite healthy. We can, we can carry on as we are. No problem at all. There's a plan here to try and achieve maximum sustainable yield by 2022. A restoration of biomass, and that's a, that's a, that's a, a credible target. And if we can achieve that indeed for stocks of fish across the whole of the European Union, across the world, then we'd be well pleased. And the control measures that ICAT are introducing, the rules and regulations, are on paper as good as you will see anywhere, in fact tighter than we have anywhere. But this, of course, is not an ordinary fish. This is a fish that, as the rapporteur has said, can command prices of up to half a million euros for every single fish. And that means that every method that we try and put in place to control fishing activity will be circumvented if it can be circumvented. Organised crime can be involved. The money that's involved in this industry is just huge. That's why quotas have been exceeded, why there have been illegal catches and massive underreporting and falsification of documents over the years. Even now, the Pew Environment Trust is saying that uh, across the world, looking at the most recent figures, it's quite clear from the amount of world trade taking place that it far exceeds the quotas for Mediterranean and Atlantic uh, bluefin tuna that in theory is, uh, is the maximum that can be caught. Can we in practice ensure that bluefin tuna are protected and survive and we are able to recover the species? Or will we see its elimination at the price of, uh, for the price of, 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 of greed? Well, what can we say? We're putting in the measures. We are calling for the maximum criminal penalties to be in, put in place to enforce those measures. But we will see as time passes whether we are successful or not.